Welcome guys. What's up, Crypto Fud? Let's jump right into this one. All right, so short and sweet, we have Matic Polygon. Uh, Polygon is making a local high as we speak, sitting at around a dollar thirty-seven, right under that dollar forty mark. Looks like it just broke the two three six fib line. Looks like before, um, about maybe I would say roughly, yeah, a little over a week ago when we were hitting some new, some new local highs for a lot of these uh, projects. Looks like it had a double top and it bounced almost pretty much perfectly at that 236. Um, at around $1.33 was its previous local high. Now we currently sit, like I said, right under $1.40 at $1.37. So basically, it looks like we've had a nice pump. A lot of these projects as of today, looks like they've all had a great pump. They've all moved up considerably in the last uh, day or two. What do I think with Poly? I think Poly is one of the stronger projects that we have right now in the alt community. I think it has so much going for it. This is one of the projects that, you know, a lot of people believe in and not only just because they believe, you know, what their white paper and, you know, the fundamentals of it all. It's also because they've also made a lot of deals with big companies. Their NFT market is going crazy. You guys know the whole spiel. So, what I'm getting to is, um, this is to me, this looks like a nice, awesome giga pump. But like I say it all the time, you have to be careful with these giga pumps. You know, they will, so they will continue to move, but a lot of times, eventually, they will find a spot, and you'll see a lot of the buyers just taking over and taking in profits. Doesn't mean that this thing's gonna go crashing back down, but that's what we're gonna map out. So the two three six line exactly is a dollar thirty four. If this, if the market, you know, continues today to have this upward momentum, and remember, you know, a lot of these things are, a lot of these projects are up. Let me just see from yesterday. This project currently is up around twenty percent. Bitcoin up over, I think, two thousand dollars since yesterday. You know, a lot of this is awesome. It's great. You know, this is what you want to see. Especially, it just gives you that 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 confidence that you know we're continuing to uh, move up regardless of whatever the hell is going on in the world or in the market. But what I'm getting to is we definitely are going to see some kind of a cool off period. Is it going to happen today? Who knows? This thing could pump, you know, continue to go up. But from what I'm thinking is and from what I'm seeing is we might see maybe a continue little pump from right now. And we're probably going to retrace back down to that dollar 30, uh, 33 cent where it may maybe can find some support where the uh the resistance was previously or if we do fall and we break that one we're probably looking at in between the uh 236 and the 382 fib line somewhere around a dollar 22 looks like it's bounced multiple times and, ha and found some good support i do see something like that probably happening just because it's it's not that crazy of a retracement you're talking maybe 10 percent, you know of a retracement Maybe that's what it needs to maybe just uh, bounce off that one dollar twenty two, get some support. Buyers will come in, and we see another local high of maybe somewhere getting close to the dollar forty, dollar fifty mark. But that's going to be a big move, and this is also considering that the market's going to continue to move up. If we are going to see anything um, more than a ten percent drop, you know, breaking between those. The line that I pointed out between the 382 and the 236, there's some big support at that 382 line that it's bounced off pretty much perfectly when we saw the, the dip. I think it was like a few days ago. We saw that nice dip bounced right out at the dollar fifteen mark. And that's when it uh, basically, you know, found the support and shot off along with everything else in the market. So if you're looking to accumulate, or maybe if you're sitting on the sidelines waiting for a cool off period. A dollar fifteen might be that mark that you're looking for. If we do break the dollar fifteen, look for a dollar seven. That looks like we've hit a double bottom before, and that was a big, big support at the dollar seven mark. That's in between the point five and the three eight two. Other than that, I don't see unless the market, you know, all of a sudden is really, you know, tanking. You know, this just from that dollar seven from where it's at right now. You're looking at a very big move down, 23, 24%. So I don't see that necessarily happening, like I said, unless the market is really tanking. Now, 
like I said, if you're looking for a local spot that's some good support would be a dollar fifteen would probably be your mark where you would want to maybe add to the bag or maybe get into the project. Obviously, this is not financial advice. If we're going to continue to move up, like I said, maybe we can look forward to seeing that dollar forty-five mark. The dollar, um, let me see here. I had it mapped out. So other than where we're at right now, if we're looking at some other spots of resistance, it's going to be basically at the top of this line, somewhere around a dollar seventy is going to be that major spot where if let's just say we continue to pump and you know we're nonstop, the dollar seventy mark is probably going to be a very, very, very big spot where we're going to see some massive resistance and we're probably going to see a retracement from there. But you're also talking a big move from there. Dollar seventy, you're talking somewhere around twenty four percent from where we're at right now. Like I said, we've already moved up a very very chunk, a nice chunk. So I don't see us moving, you know, another twenty five percent as of today. But things are moving fast in the market, so who knows? Other than that, like I said, look forward to maybe a retracement back down to a dollar seventeen, and maybe hitting that three eight two line at a dollar fifteen as a good spot to maybe accumulate or get into the project. Other than that, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel so you guys can get those instant alerts whenever I'm putting out those videos. Thank you so much.